Hello again, this is Dwayne, and I have more good stuff you really ought to know right here. This time we're talking about minor chord substitutes. Anytime you have a minor chord in any kind of song, you can substitute a dominant seventh chord, a fifth lower. If that sounds like a, a foreign language, let me explain a little bit. Let's say that you have an F minor chord in your song. You could count down five notes down the F scale. What would that be? B flat would be the fifth note below F if you're in the F scale, wouldn't it? So you got to you got to be you got to count down the scale that you're in. If if the chord is F minor, then you got to think in the key of F. So you go down five notes and you come to B flat. Well, you can substitute a B flat seventh for that F minor chord if you want. You don't have to, of course, but that's always an option. Why is that? Well, in the F minor chord, there's a a, a flat third, right? It's A flat. That A flat becomes the seventh of the of the B flat chord, doesn't it? So it just is a nice way to substitute. Uh, let me let me play a little more. Let's say that we're playing "Oh Danny Boy." That's F minor seventh. Now, if I want to, you see, I could go to B flat seventh. So chord substitutions have a lot of potential to make your playing sound original, don't they? And there's many chord substitutions, but this is one of the main ones that you'll want to master. For any minor sev um, any minor chord, uh, you can go down a, a fifth and build a dominant seventh. Okay, and that's some more good stuff you really ought to know. So we'll see you next month.